If you're like me, Gmail and Notion are two of the apps that you use the most. And if you're also like me, you probably spend a lot of time copying and pasting stuff between Gmail and Notion. In this demo video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Gmail and Notion so that you can avoid all the copying and pasting using Relay.app. In this example, I'm going to show you a simple party RSVP use case where every time I add a guest to the Notion database, I want to send them an email. That's Notion to Gmail. And then every time I get a reply to that email, I want to take the response of whether they're attending or not and update my Notion database. That's Gmail to Notion. Let me show you how it works. First, I'm going to show you how to create a workflow that automatically sends an email each time you add someone to a Notion database. I'm going to start with a Notion trigger, new page added. Whenever a new page is added in my party RSVPs database, I want to use Gmail to send an email. You can see here that it's very easy to select the specific email address in that Notion database page because we're smart enough to know that the type is email. I can say the subject is party. And then again, in the body of the email, I can reference some information from the Notion database, like in this case, the first name. My party is coming up. Will you be able to attend? Thanks, Jacob, very formal. Then I'm gonna turn this on. And as soon as that triggers on, I'm gonna add a row to my database of guests. I'm not going to fill out attending because I obviously don't, don't know that yet until the reply comes back. Then I'm going to, uh, it would happen automatically, but just for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to, I'm going to check so that it can speed it up. You can see it's running now. It's going to send the email. I can see that the email was sent. And if I go to my email inbox, you'll see, there we go. Hi, Jacob, my party is coming up. Will you be able to attend? Now, let me build the email Gmail to Notion workflow that's going to let me update my database based on the response to that email. This one's going to be a little bit trickier. So first, I'm going to add a trigger when an email is received. And I want the subject to contain party because I only want to <laughs> trigger this workflow for the emails that are specifically people responding to my party. And the first thing I'm going to do is I actually am going to write an AI step. And what I want to do with this AI step is read the content of that email and figure out if the person is attending or not. So I'll make a prompt that's like, you are an assistant managing RSVPs for a party. Please read this email and let me know if the guest is attending or not. If they can make it, say yes. If they can't make it, say no. And the context I'm going to pass in is this email. And the output, I can specify as a structured output, yes or no. And I'm going to say, is guest attending? Now, once I've extracted from the email whether the guest is attending or not, I need to write it in the right place in Notion. To do that, the first thing I need to do is find the right page. To do that, I'm going to create a find page step. I'm going to look in the party RSVPs database. I'm going to filter based on the email address of this incoming email, which again, remember, is the reply to my original email. And then once I found that page, I'm going to do another Notion step to update the page that I just found. And I will update the attending field based on what the AI model has told me. Oh, and I need to remind myself that the step should fail if it doesn't find anything, because it better find an RSVP in the RSVP database. Now, I'm going to turn this trigger on, I'm going to reply to the email, and let's see if it updates my Notion database appropriately. So I'll reply, I will attend. Again, stick with the nice formal language. Now we're going to wait for Gmail's undo send time to elapse. There we go. Pop over to relay.app. There we see it's running now. It caught the email. And let's see what it does. I can pop in, I can see that it did a prompt, figured out that the guest is attending, found the right page in the database, runs the automation, and if I go over to Nothin, you will see that the attending checkbox was marked as yes. So this is how you can use Relay.app to very easily integrate 
Notion and Gmail together, whether it's sending an email based on something you're doing in Notion or updating Notion based on an email that you've received. Relay.app makes it really easy with no copying and pasting. Give it a try at relay.app.